Hi guys, welcome back to the Page for YouTube channel. I am Paige and if you're new here, a special welcome to you. So the second ever video I posted on this channel was me discussing my first year experience as a DMD student. In that video, I talked about the courses I did as well as my interactions with the persons I met. But I failed to mention how I got into the program. So today, I along with Miss McLeod from UWI's Doctor of Dental Surgery program We'll be discussing this as well as giving you all the vital information for you to consider before applying to dental school in Jamaica. The prerequisites for UTEX Doctor of Medical Dentistry program can be seen here. Once online application is completed, you'll have 10 working days in which to submit your supporting documents, namely your birth certificate and your CSEC and CAPE results. After I did that, I received an email in the summer with a conditional offer. It was only a conditional offer because the prerequisites for the program included passes in CAPE Unit 2 and at the time, CXC results had not been released for that year's exams. So, the offer was made on the condition that the university expected me to get similar results in Unit 2 as I did in Unit 1. So, if you're doing CAPE Unit 2 this year, you should expect a conditional offer as CXC results won't be released in time for the start of the semester in August. So as I mentioned, classes started in August and in semester one, I did 10 courses, some of which are gross anatomy, dental anatomy, operative dentistry, and dental biomaterials. The pass mark for dental courses is 70%, while for other courses, it is between 50 and 60%. In first year, I was only required to get instruments for operative dentistry, fixed prosthodontics, and periodontics. Some of these instruments included a high-speed dental handpiece, a slow-speed dental handpiece, a typodont, an explorer, and a pro. The female uniform includes a white jacket, a shirt on the inside of the jacket, and a black working pants. While the male uniform includes a white shirt and a black working pants. For lab sessions, we wore a lab coat, mask, and protective eyewear. And for dental school is 14,000 US for each year. And the year is divided into three semesters. You have the option of making payments for each semester in installments of 30%, 30%, and 40%. And if you fail to make these payments, you won't be allowed to sit the exams. Hi everyone, my name is Samantha McLeod and I'm a second year dentistry student at the University of the West Indies. And today I will be talking about the application process and all that it entails. The prerequisites for acceptance to you is Doctor of Dental Surgery program will be right here. Now to get into the meat of the matter. When you have applied and your application has been processed, subsequent emails will be sent to see if you are shortlisted. And if you are shortlisted, an interview will be conducted. My interview was conducted via Skype and this was due to the COVID-19 pandemic. If you are successful in your interview, an official acceptance letter will be sent to your email. And of course, this varies with how fast you have completed your application. The submitting documents that I had to submit were my birth certificate, my police record, my CAPE and CSEC results, as well as my extracurricular activities form. And this all had to be verified and signed by a JP. Orientation began in the last week of August, and this was virtually done because of the pandemic. And they spoke about the tuition, the tuition payments, um, or school attire, the courses that we will be doing, or timetables, the medicals that had to be done, and just generally making us feel welcome into the school. Classes began in the first week of September, and I did mostly medical courses throughout the school year, and dentistry courses in the summer. The medical courses that I did were embryology and histology, fundamental of disease and treatment, the locomotor system, molecule, molecular medicine, and a foundation course, which was Caribbean civilization. 
my dentistry courses for that semester included oral oral physiology and biochemistry dental material science and dental practice the hardest dentistry course for me was dental material science and that's because it consists of a lot of information and the time frame was just not sufficient my favorite courses were anatomy histology and dental practice especially dental practice because you know it was my first time actually being in the lab and trying new things and just generally doing what i love the pass mark for the theory-based courses is 50 percent and for the practical courses for dentistry the pass mark is 70 percent the instruments needed was dependent on the lab that we were doing so if we were carving teeth we would need our carving knives or wax blocks if we were doing impressions we would need our mixing bowls or mix, mixing spatulas if we were doing fillings we, need, we would need our amalgam pluggers or amalgam carriers so everything was dependent on the lab that we were doing for our uniform attire each time we went to school we had to be in our uniform so the females would wear our white jacket and inside shirt and working pants the males would wear their bush jacket working pants and if we're going to the lab to conduct any procedure we would have to have our lab coat or face shield or protective eyewear and our masks the tuition fee <laughs> is extensive it is 28,000 us dollars per year and 75 percent has to be paid before you can even start and in order for you to do your exams so i would advise or recommend anyone to have a good payment system online before you start studies or before you start school so that you don't overwhelm yourself because it can become really stressing and your focus will be lost during school when you're supposed to be like focusing on passing your exams you have to be worrying about payments and you just might be discouraged and flustered so i would recommend anyone to get a good financial payment system before they start thank you thank you miss mcleod thank you guys for watching i do plan on making this into a series so today as you see i did dental school in the next video i'll do nursing school and medical school and i might even go outside of medicine and do law school so if you'd like to see this, please to subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!